Okay, so we had a situation where we couldn't extract the information off the old control board because the control board was dead. We had voltage, fuse was good. We just the board wouldn't do anything. So, um, so we got this uh, situation where we need to just replace the uh, board. We're going to have to do it manually. It doesn't take very long, but it uh, it, it is a little bit more uh, involved than than the USB setup. Okay, so we're going to go into our language setup here. And welcome to the Indigo Setup Wizard, Start Wizard. And it's checking for a valid model and serial number. Don't have one, okay? This is a new board, no model number, serial numbers programmed into it. So in order to, for us to go anywhere, we've got to put a, a valid model number in there, okay? Now, this case, we had the USB replacement. Can't do that, so we're gonna have to do the manual replacement here. Now, we're gonna start manually inputting the model number all right so you need to make note of the model number based on the data tag so this one is an iyt 0450a-161 the i there is not uh, editable so we'll leave it there here we've got y it's already there for me so i'm going to scoot over to the next location uh, this is going to be a t so i need to edit that to show it's a t then I got uh, zero. Well, that's already a zero, so we don't need to change that. This is going to be a six. Going to change that to a four. This is going to change to a five. We already have a zero there, so we're good there. This is an air cool machine. That's already A, so we're good there. And now we got to change our voltages. There, 161, 115 volt, 60 cycle, single phase. Hit the right arrow button, saving it. Save was successful. Now we've got to input the serial number. This serial number is going to start with 112. So, 1, 1, 2, 0, 2. Seven three, four, six. Oh, let me got to back up a little bit. I got one out of place there. Seven three. All right, so it's really easy to edit back and forth. If you get a number wrong, just kind of use the arrows to go back. So it's seven, three, four, three, and six. So we're going to verify that. One, one, two, zero, two. One, one, two, zero, two. Seven, three, four. Seven, three, four, three, six. So the model number is correct. The serial number is correct. For warranty purposes, okay, we highly and strongly recommend that you use the data tags either here or on the back and not necessarily the information on the display because it may or may not be correct. You saw I made a mistake on it a few minutes ago. It's really, really easy to do. All right. So condenser serial number, this is an air cool machine. We don't have a condenser serial number to put on here. If you had a remote, whether it be a quiet cube or a traditional remote, it's a really good idea to put that serial number for that condenser in this location because any refrigeration repair, even if everything is done downstairs, will require the serial number for the unit upstairs. So it's a good place to put that so you don't have to break your ladder out and climb up on a roof, okay? Model number, verify that, verify the serial number. And we're done. Okay, now we just navigate our way through the startup wizard. We set the time. So it's uh, 9 a.m. You just have to keep mashing it till you get to the time here. It happens to be 9 a.m. here in Wisconsin. Date. The date's correct. It's checking to see if any of the accessories are plugged into it, and they're not. And we're going to configure manually. I'm in Wisconsin. I'm going standard. And adjust the brightness. Can make it a little bit brighter if you'd like. We're going to run in the continuous mode. We're not going to set the cleanings today. That's for another video. 
and we we uh, don't have a water filter installed on this one. We're going to use the factory defaults. We're done. We can start the machine up. Let me unlock it. Okay, so we've gotten our model number, serial number programmed in. We're going to hit the information button there. Uh, we're going to verify that our model number, serial number fell over here, and it did. Uh, we've got our uh, firmware revisions there. Let's go to our home button. Um, if the control board is locked, you may see the little orange, um, orange lock buttons there indicating that those buttons are locked. You'll unlock it, turn the machine on. And we are making ice. We should have ice in about 15 minutes. All right. My name is David Irvin. Hope you enjoy this video. Thanks.